John Knott was born in Austria, late 1800s, moved to Sioux City, Iowa with his widowed mother when he was about five, and studied artwork. He had a kind of a normal middle America upbringing. John Knott began to work at the, um, at the Morning News in 1905, and he worked until 1960, a good solid 50 years, and produced five or 6,000 illustrations over, over that, that time period. time you first sketch it onto a piece of paper to you ink it in and finish it can take about two to three hours. Now remember uh, John Knott had to do one of these every day seven days a week. His artwork was, it was beautiful artwork but it was presented uh, in, a, in a humorous line art kind of way. People never really considered uh, I think cartoonish real artists but we put as much work and effort in our work as any professional artist. And so I would consider him an artist. He came in just in time for Woodrow Wilson in World War I. And as they say, the rest was history. He was the cartoonist for 50 years. And uh, an eccentric, odd fellow. But that's kind of, being a cartoonist, that sort of comes with the territory. Cartooning is a very American, uh, art form. The cartooning in one way or another has been around forever. Most people are very visual. Illustrations, photographs, these things I think have a lot more power than just the written word. To be a political cartoonist, the person's going to open the editorial page of the paper, he's going to spend 30 seconds looking at this artwork. Everything has to pop at you right now. He's like, okay, like I said, okay, fine. You know, Adolf Hitler dressed as a woman dancing with the king of Argentina. It's funny, it immediately says the point, and then you move on to the editorial page. He was excellent at that. Even today, some of his artwork's over 100 years old. You look at it and it immediately explains what the subject is. His artwork is very relevant today. He, uh, if you look at some of the things he talks about, he talks about immigration. Do we take in all these orphan children from, from Europe at the time? I think it would fit right in today. I think they could pull a few things out and uh, from a hundred years ago and run them in today's paper, which people probably still understand that. Old Man Texas represented the Texas personality of the day. He was sort of a voice of reason. He would show up uh, and all manner of uh, all, all the cartoons. There'd be some two politicians screaming at each other over something completely ridiculous and stupid. An old man Texas would step in the middle and kind of uh, calm it down and say, no, no, this is the direction we need to go. He would point out what was really important to, to, to Texas people. It's kind of hard to explain when you see the original artwork hanging on the wall. That's his, his pencil work, his ink work. Uh, became fascinated with the, way, with the way he worked. It was so clean and, decide, and uh, immediate. Uh, it was like there was no ambiguity at all in what he was drawing, and it looked like it went straight from his head onto the page. John Knott kind of encapsulates a time period. You can go to 1915. What was important in 1915? John Knott, then his illustrations are like boom, 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 boom. This is what the, the standard, what the people of the day thought about any particular subject. It's like reading a historical document from 300 years ago. I think that's why the, the illustrations are historically significant. <laughs>